Marseille, French, Mass J, listen, locally, M -chi -s -j, also spelled in English as Marseille, Provençal, Marcella, Ma -sege, Sige, is the second largest city of France. The main city of the historical province of Provence, it is the prefecture of the department of Bouches du Rhône and region of Provence Alpes Côte d'Azur. It is located on the Mediterranean coast near the mouth of the Rhône. The city covers an area of 241 square kilometers, 93 square miles, and had a population of 852,516 in 2012. Its metropolitan area, which extends over 3,173 square kilometers, 1,225 square miles, is the third largest in France after Paris and Lyon, with a population of 1,831,500 as of 2010, known to the ancient Greeks and Romans as Massalia (Greek: Massalia, Massalia, Marseille) was an important European trading centre and remains the main commercial port of the French Republic. Marseille is now France's largest city on the Mediterranean coast and the largest port for commerce, freight and cruise ships. The city was European capital of culture in 2013 and European capital of sport in 2017. It hosted matches at the 1998 World Cup and Euro 2016. It is home to Aix Marseille University. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography Marseille is the second largest city in France after Paris and the centre of the third largest metropolitan area in France after Paris and Lyon. To the east, starting in the small fishing village of Calais-Long on the outskirts of Marseille and stretching as far as Cassis, are the Calanques, a rugged coastal area interspersed with small fjord-like inlets. Farther east still are the Saint Baum, a 1147 meters, 3763 feet mountain ridge rising from a forest of deciduous trees, the city of Toulon and the French Riviera. To the north of Marseille, beyond the low Garlebin and Etoile mountain ranges, is the 1,011 metres 3 Mont Saint-Victoire. To the west of Marseille is the former artist's colony of Lestac, farther west are the Côte Bleue, the Gulf of Lyon and the Camar region in the Rhône Delta. The airport lies to the northwest of the city at Marinane on the Atang de Bear, the city's main thoroughfare the wide boulevard called the Canebeer stretches eastward from the old port to the Reformes quarter. Two large forts flank the entrance to the old port—Fort St. Nicholas on the south side and Fort St. Jean on the north. Farther out in the Bay of Marseille is the Frioul Archipelago which comprises four islands, one of which, if, is the location of Château d'If, made famous by the Dumas novel The Count of Monte Cristo. The main commercial centre of the city intersects with the Canebeer at Rue saint ferréol and the Centre Bourse one of the city's main shopping malls. The centre of Marseille has several pedestrianised zones, most notably Rue saint ferréol Cours Julien near the Music Conservatory, the Cours Honoré d'Estienne d'Orves off the Old Port and the area around the Hôtel de Ville. To the southeast of central Marseille in the 6th arrondissement are the prefecture and the monumental fountain of Place Castellane, an important bus and metro interchange. To the south west are the hills of the 7th and 8th arrondissements, dominated by the Basilica of Notre-Dame de la Garde. 
Marseille Main Railway Station Gare de Marseille Saint Charles is north of the Centre Bourse in the first arrondissement, it is linked by the Boulevard de Thines to the Canebier. Satellite view Climate The city has a hot summer Mediterranean climate with mild, humid winters and warm to hot, mostly dry summers. December, January, and February are the coldest months, averaging temperatures of around 12 degrees Celsius 54 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 4 degrees Celsius 39 degrees Fahrenheit at night. July and August are the hottest months, averaging temperatures of around 28 to 30 degrees Celsius (82 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit) during the day and 19 degrees Celsius (66 degrees Fahrenheit) at night in the Marinane Airport, 35 kilometers (22 miles) from Marseille, but in the city near the sea, the average high temperature is 27 degrees. Celsius 81 degrees Fahrenheit in July, Marseille is officially the sunniest major city in France with over 2,900 hours of sunshine while the average sunshine in country is around 1,950 hours. It is also the driest major city with only 512 mm of precipitation annually, especially thanks to the Mistral, a cold, dry wind originating in the Rhone Valley that occurs mostly in winter and spring and which generally brings clear skies and sunny weather to the region. Less frequent is the Sirocco, a hot, sand-bearing wind, coming from the Sahara Desert. Snowfalls are infrequent, over 50% of years do not experience a single snowfall. The hottest temperature was 40.6 degrees Celsius .1 degrees Fahrenheit on 26 July 1983 during a great heat wave. The lowest temperature was minus 14.3 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit on the 13th. 15 February 1929 during a strong cold wave. Topic: History. Marseille was originally founded circa 600 BC as the Greek colony of Massalia and populated by settlers from Phocaea, modern Phoca, Turkey. It became the preeminent Greek polis in the Hellenized region of southern Gaul. The city-state sided with the Roman Republic against Carthage during the Second Punic War 218 BC, retaining its independence and commercial empire throughout the western Mediterranean even as Rome expanded into Western Europe and North Africa. However, the city lost its independence following the Roman siege of Massilia in 49 BC, during Caesar's civil war, in which Massalia sided with the exiled faction at war with Julius Caesar. Marseille continued to prosper as a Roman city, becoming an early center of Christianity during the Western Roman Empire. The city maintained its position as a premier maritime trading hub even after its capture by the Visigoths in the 5th century AD, although the city went into decline following the sack of 739 AD by the forces of Charles Martel. It became part of the county of Provence during the 10th century, although its renewed prosperity was curtailed by the Black Death of the 14th century and sack of the city by the Crown of Aragon in 1423. 
The city's fortunes rebounded with the ambitious building projects of René of Anjou, Count of Provence, who strengthened the city's fortifications during the mid-15th century. During the 16th century the city hosted a naval fleet with the combined forces of the Franco-Ottoman alliance, which threatened the ports and navies of Genoa and the Holy Roman Empire. Marseille lost a significant portion of its population during the Great Plague of Marseille in 1720, but the population had recovered by mid-century. In 1792 the city became a focal point of the French Revolution and was the birthplace of France's national anthem, La Marseillaise. The Industrial Revolution and establishment of the French Empire during the 19th century allowed for further expansion of the city, although it was occupied by the German Wehrmacht in November 1942 and subsequently heavily damaged during World War II. The city has since become a major centre for immigrant communities from former French colonies, such as French Algeria. Economy Marseille is a major French centre for trade and industry, with excellent transportation infrastructure roads, seaport and airport. Marseille-Provence Airport is the fourth largest in France. In May 2005, the French financial magazine L'Expansion named Marseille the most dynamic of France's large cities, citing figures showing that 7,200 companies had been created in the city since 2000. Marseille is also France's second largest research centre with 3,000 research scientists within Aix Marseille University. As of 2014, the Marseille metropolitan area had a GDP amounting to $60.3 billion, or $36,127 per capita purchasing power parity. Port Historically, the economy of Marseille was dominated by its role as a port of the French Empire, linking the North African colonies of Algeria, Morocco and Tunisia with metropolitan France. The old port was replaced as the main port for trade by the Port de la Joliette during the Second Empire and now contains restaurants, offices, bars and hotels and functions mostly as a private marina. The majority of the port and docks, which experienced decline in the 1970s after the oil crisis, have been recently redeveloped with funds from the European Union. Fishing remains important in Marseille and the food economy of Marseille is fed by the local catch. A daily fish market is still held on the Quai des Belges of the Old Port. The economy of Marseille and its region is still linked to its commercial port, the first French port and the fifth European port by cargo tonnage, which lies north of the Old Port and eastern in fosse sur mer Some 45,000 jobs are linked to the port activities and it represents €4 billion Euros added value to the regional economy. 100 million tons of freight pass annually through the port, 60% of which is petroleum, making it number one in France and the Mediterranean and number three in Europe. However, in the early 2000s, the growth in container traffic was being stifled by the constant strikes and social upheaval. The port is among the 20th firsts in Europe for container traffic with 1,062,408 TEU and new infrastructures have already raised the capacity to 2 MTEU. 
Petroleum refining and shipbuilding are the principal industries, but chemicals, soap, glass, sugar, building materials, plastics, textiles, olive oil, and processed foods are also important products. Marseille is connected with the Rhône via a canal and thus has access to the extensive waterway network of France. Petroleum is shipped northward to the Paris Basin by pipeline. The city also serves as France's leading centre of oil refining. <laughs> Companies, services and high technologies In recent years, the city has also experienced a large growth in service sector employment and a switch from light manufacturing to a cultural, high-tech economy. The Marseille region is home to thousands of companies, 90% of which are small and medium enterprises with less than 500 employees. Among the most famous ones are CMACGM, container shipping giant, company Maritime Dexpertises Comex, world leader in sub-sea engineering and hydraulic systems, Airbus Helicopters, an Airbus division, Azur Promotel, an active real estate development company, La Provence, the local daily newspaper, RTM, Marseille Public Transport Company. Company, and Société Nationale Maritime Course Méditerranée SNCM, a major operator in passenger, vehicle and freight transportation in the western Mediterranean. The urban operation Euroméditerranée has developed a large offer of offices and thus Marseille hosts one of the main business district in France. Marseille is the home of three main technopoles, Château Gombert Technological Innovations, Lumini Biotechnology and La Belle de May 17,000 SQM, of offices dedicated to multimedia activities. <laughs> Tourism and attractions The port is also an important arrival base for millions of people each year, with 2.4 million including 890,100 from cruise ships. With its beaches, history, architecture and culture, 24 museums and 42 theatres, Marseille is one of the most visited cities in France, with 4.1 million visitors in 2012. Marseille is ranked 86th in the world for business tourism and events, advancing from the 150th spot one year before. The number of Congress days hosted on its territory increased from 109,000 in 1996 to almost 300,000 in 2011. They take place in three main sites the Palais du Faro, Palais des Congrès et des Expositions, Parc Chanet, and World Trade Center. In 2012, Marseille hosted the World Water Forum. Several urban projects have been developed to make Marseille attractive. Thus new parks, museums, public spaces and real estate projects aim to improve the city's quality of life. Parc du 26e Centenaire, Old Port of Marseille, numerous places in Euroméditerranée to attract firms and people. Marseille Municipality acts to develop Marseille as a regional nexus for entertainment in the south of France with high concentration of museums, cinemas, theatres, clubs, bars, restaurants, fashion shops, hotels, and art galleries. Employment 
Unemployment in the economy fell from 20% in 1995 to 14% in 2004. However, Marseille unemployment rate remains higher than the national average. In some parts of Marseille, youth unemployment is reported to be as high as 40%. Administration The city of Marseille is divided into 16 municipal arrondissements, which are themselves informally divided into 111 neighborhoods French, courtiers. The arrondissements are regrouped in pairs, into eight sectors, each with a mayor and council like the arrondissements in Paris and Lyon. Municipal elections are held every six years and are carried out by sector. There are 303 council members in total, two-thirds sitting in the sector councils and one-third in the city council. The 9th arrondissement of Marseille is the largest in terms of area because it comprises parts of Calanques National Park. With a population of 89,316 the 13th arrondissement of Marseille is the most populous one. From 1950 to the mid-1990s, Marseille was a socialist PS and communist PCF stronghold. Gaston Deferre PS was consecutively re-elected six times as mayor of Marseille from 1953 until his death in 1986. He was succeeded by Robert Vigorou of the European Democratic and Social Rally RDSE. Jean-Claude Godin of the right-wing UMP was elected mayor of Marseille in 1995. Godin was re-elected in 2001, 2008 and 2014. In recent years, the Communist Party has lost most of its strength in the northern boroughs of the city, whereas the National Front has received significant support. At the last municipal election in 2014, Marseille was divided between the northern arrondissements dominated by the left PS and far right FN and the southern part of town dominated by the right wing UMP. Marseille is also divided in 12 cantons, each of them sending two members to the departmental council of the Bouches du Rhône department. Topic. List of mayors of Marseille since the beginning of the 20th century Topic. Population Topic. Immigration Because of its pre-eminence as a Mediterranean port, Marseille has always been one of the main gateways into France. This has attracted many immigrants and made Marseille a cosmopolitan melting pot. By the end of the 18th century about half the population originated from elsewhere in Provence mostly and also from southern France, economic conditions and political unrest in Europe and the rest of the world brought several other waves of immigrants during the 20th century, Greeks and Italians started arriving at the end of the 19th century and in the first half of the 20th century, up to 40 40% of the city's population was of Italian origin, Russians in 1917, Armenians in 1915 and 1923, Vietnamese in the 1920s, 1954 and after 1975, 
Corsicans during the 1920s and 1930s, Spanish after 1936, North Africans both Arab and Berber in the interwar period, Sub-Saharan Africans after 1945, the Pieds-Noirs from the former French Algeria in 1962, and then from Comoros. In 2006, it was reported that 70,000 city residents were considered to be of Maghrebi origin, mostly from Algeria. The second largest group in Marseille in terms of single nationalities were from the Comoros, amounting to some 45,000 people. Currently, over one third of the population of Marseille can trace their roots back to Italy. Marseille also has the second largest Corsican and Armenian populations of France. Other significant communities include Maghrebis, Turks, Comorians, Chinese, and Vietnamese. In 1999, in several arrondissements, about 40% of the young people under 18 were of Maghrebi origin, at least one immigrant parent. Since 2013, immigrants from Eastern Europe travel to work in the city of Marseille, attracted by better job opportunities and the good climate of this Mediterranean city. The main nationalities of the immigrants are Romanians and Poles. <inaudible> <inaudible> Religion According to data from 2010, major religious communities in Marseille include Roman Catholic 620,000 Muslim 174,000 Armenian Apostolic 80,000 Jewish 52,000 Protestant 20,000 Eastern Orthodox 15,000 Hindu 4,000 Buddhist 3000 Topic Culture Marseille is a city that has its own unique culture and is proud of its differences from the rest of France Today it is a regional centre for culture and entertainment with an important opera house, historical and maritime museums, five art galleries and numerous cinemas, clubs, bars and restaurants. Marseille has a large number of theatres, including Le Crie, Le Gymnase and the Théâtre Terski. There is also an extensive arts centre in La Friche, a former match factory behind the St. Charles station. The Alcazar, until the 1960s a well-known music hall and variety theatre, has recently been completely remodelled behind its original façade and now houses the Central Municipal Library. Other music venues in Marseille include Le Silo also a theater, and Grimm. Marseille has also been important in the arts. It has been the birthplace and home of many French writers and poets, including Victor Gelu, Valéry Bernard, Pierre Bertas, Edmond Rostand and André Roussin. The small port of Lestac on the far end of the Bay of Marseille became a favourite haunt for artists, including Auguste Renoir, Paul Cézanne who frequently visited from his home in Aix, Georges Braque and Raoul Duffy. <laughs> European capital of culture Marseille served as the European capital of culture for 2013 along with Cosis. Marseille Provence 2013 MP2013 featured more than 900 cultural events held throughout Marseille and the surrounding communities. 
These cultural events generated more than 11 million visits. The European Capital of Culture was also the occasion to unveil more than 600 million euros in new cultural infrastructure in Marseille and its environs, including the iconic museum designed by Rudy Ricciotti. Terreau de Marseille The most commonly used tarot deck takes its name from the city, it has been called the Tarot de Marseille since the 1930s—a name coined for commercial use by the French cardmaker and cartomancer Paul Marteau, owner of BP Grimo. Previously this deck was called Tarot Italian, Italian tarot, and even earlier it was simply called Tarot. Before being de Marseille, it was used to play the local variant of taroki before it became used in cartomancy at the end of the 18th century, following the trend set by Antoine Court de Gebelin. The name Tarot de Marseille Marteau used the name Ancient Tarot de Marseille was used by contrast to other types of tarots such as Tarot de Boussançon. Those names were simply associated with cities where there were many cardmakers in the 18th century. Previously several cities in France were involved in cardmaking. Another local tradition is the making of santons, small hand crafted figurines for the traditional Provençal Christmas crèche. Since 1803, starting on the last Sunday of November, there has been a Santon Fair in Marseille. It is currently held in the Corps d'Estienne d'Orves, a large square off the Vieux Port. <laughs> Opera Marseille's main cultural attraction was, since its creation at the end of the 18th century and until the late 1970s, the opera. Located near the Old Port and the Canebier, at the very heart of the city, its architectural style was comparable to the classical trend found in other opera houses built at the same time in Lyon and Bordeaux. In 1919, a fire almost completely destroyed the house, leaving only the stone colonnade and peristyle from the original façade. The classical façade was restored and the opera house reconstructed in a predominantly Art Deco style, as the result of a major competition. Currently the Opéra de Marseille stages six or seven operas each year. Since 1972, the Ballet National de Marseille has performed at the Opera House. Its director from its foundation to 1998 was Roland Petit. <laughs> Popular events and festivals There are several popular festivals in different neighborhoods, with concerts, animations, and outdoor bars, like the Fête du Panier in June. On 21 June, there are dozens of free concerts in the city as part of France's Fête de la Musique, featuring music from all over the world. Being free events, many Marseille residents attend. Marseille hosts a gay pride event in early July. In 2013, Marseille hosted Europride, an international LGBT event, 10 July 20. At the beginning of July, there is the International Documentary Festival. At the end of September, the electronic music festival Marsatak takes place. In October, the Fiesta des Suds offers many concerts of world music. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hip-hop music. 
Marseille is also well known in France for its hip hop music. Bands like I Am originated from Marseille and initiated the rap phenomenon in France. Other known groups include Funky Family, Psy 4 de la Rime, including rappers Soprano and Alonzo, and Kenny Arcana. In a slightly different way, raga music is represented by Massilia Sound System. Topic: <inaudible> Food. Bouillabaisse is the most famous seafood dish of Marseille. It is a fish stew containing at least three varieties of very fresh local fish, typically red rascas Scorpina scrofa, sea robin fr, grandin, and European conger fr, congra. It can include gilt head bream fr, durad, turbot, monkfish fr, lot or bodroy, mullet, or silver hake fr, merlin, and it usually includes shellfish and other seafood such as sea urchins fr, oursins, mussels fr, mules, velvet crabs fr, atriles, spider crab fr, aranyes de mer, plus potatoes and vegetables. In the traditional version, the fish is served on a platter separate from the broth. The broth is served with ruil, a mayonnaise made with egg yolk, olive oil, red bell pepper, saffron, and garlic, spread on pieces of toasted bread, or krauts. In Marseille, bouillabaisse is rarely made for fewer than ten people, the more people who share the meal, and the more different fish that are included, the better the bouillabaisse. Aioli is a sauce made from raw garlic, lemon juice, eggs and olive oil, served with boiled fish, hard-boiled eggs and cooked vegetables. Anquiade is a paste made from anchovies, garlic, and olive oil, spread on bread or served with raw vegetables. Boride is a soup made with white fish, monkfish, European sea bass, whiting, etc., and aioli. Fugas is a flat Provençal bread, similar to the Italian focaccia. It is traditionally baked in a wood oven and sometimes filled with olives, cheese or anchovies. Navette de Marseille are, in the words of food writer M.F.K. Fisher, "...little boat-shaped cookies, tough dough tasting vaguely of orange peel, smelling better than they are." Farinata hashtag French variations as chickpea flour boiled into a thick mush, allowed to firm up, then cut into blocks and fried. Pastis is an alcoholic beverage made with aniseed and spice. It is extremely popular in the region. Piepocates is a dish prepared from sheep's feet and offal. Pastu is a combination of crushed fresh basil and garlic with olive oil, similar to the Italian pesto. The soup au pastu combines pastu in a broth with pasta and vegetables. Tapenada is a paste made from chopped olives, capers, and olive oil sometimes anchovies may be added. Topic. Films set in Marseille Marseille has been the setting for many films. Topic. Marseille in television The French television series Plus Belle La Vie is set in an imaginary quarter, Le Mistral, of Marseille. It is filmed in the Panier Quarter of Marseille. The Netflix series Marseille is set in the city in the 2010s. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Main sites. Marseille is listed as a major center of art and history. The city has many museums and galleries and there are many ancient buildings and churches of historical interest. Topic: <laughs> Central Marseille Most of the attractions of Marseille including shopping areas are located in the 1st, 2nd, 6th and 7th arrondissements. These include The Old Port or Vieux Port, the main harbour and marina of the city. It is guarded by two massive forts Fort Saint Nicholas and Fort Saint Jean and is one of the main places to eat in the city. Dozens of cafés line the waterfront. The Quai des Belges at the end of the harbour is the site of the daily fish market. Much of the northern quayside area was rebuilt by the architect Fernand Pouillon after its destruction by the Nazis in 1943. The Hôtel de Ville City Hall, a Baroque building dating from the 17th century. The Centre Bourse and the adjacent Rue saint ferrol district including Rue de Rome and Rue Parody, the main shopping area in central Marseille. The Port d'Aix, a triumphal arch commemorating French victories in the Spanish expedition. The Hôtel Dieu, a former hospital in Le Panier, transformed into an intercontinental hotel in 2013. La Vieille Charité in Le Panier, an architecturally significant building designed by the Puget Brothers. The central Baroque chapel is situated in a courtyard lined with arcaded galleries. Originally built as an alms house, it is now home to an archaeological museum and a gallery of African and Asian art, as well as bookshops and a café. It also houses the Marseille International Poetry Center. The Cathedral of Saint Marie Major or Le Major, founded in the 4th century, enlarged in the 11th century and completely rebuilt in the second half of the 19th century by the architects Léon Vaudoyer and Henri Jacques Esperandieu. The present-day cathedral is a gigantic edifice in Romano-Byzantine style. A Romanesque transept, choir and altar survive from the older medieval cathedral, spared from complete destruction only as a result of public protests at the time. The 12th-century parish church of Saint-Laurent and adjoining 17th-century chapel of Saint Catherine, on the quayside near the cathedral. The Abbey of Saint Victor, one of the oldest places of Christian worship in Europe. Its 5th-century crypt and catacombs occupy the site of a Hellenic burial ground, later used for Christian martyrs and venerated ever since. Continuing a medieval tradition, every year at Candlemas a Black Madonna from the crypt is carried in procession along Rue Saint for a blessing from the Archbishop, followed by a Mass and the distribution of nevettes and green votive candles. Museums <inaudible> 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 In addition to the two in the Centre de la Vieille Charité, described above, the main museums are The Musée des Civilisations de l'Europe et de la Méditerranée and the Villa Méditerranée were inaugurated in 2013. The Museum is devoted to the history and culture of European and Mediterranean civilizations. The adjacent Villa Méditerranée, an international centre for cultural and artistic interchange, is partially constructed underwater. 
The site is linked by footbridges to the Fort Saint Jean and to the Panier. The Musée Regards de Provence, opened in 2013, is located between the Cathedral of Notre Dame de la Majeure and the Fort Saint Jean. It occupies a converted port building constructed in 1945 to monitor and control potential sea borne health hazards, in particular epidemics. It now houses a permanent collection of historical artworks from Provence as well as temporary exhibitions. The Musée du Vieux Marseille, housed in the 16th century Maison Diamante, describing everyday life in Marseille from the 18th century onwards. The Musée des Docs Romains preserves in situ the remains of Roman commercial warehouses, and has a small collection of objects, dating from the Greek period to the Middle Ages, that were uncovered on the site or retrieved from shipwrecks. The Marseille History Museum Musée de Histoire de Marseille, devoted to the history of the town, located in the centre bourse. It contains remains of the Greek, and Roman history of Marseille as well as the best preserved hull of a 6th century boat in the world. Ancient remains from the Hellenic port are displayed in the adjacent archaeological gardens, the Jardin des Vestiges. The Musée Cantini, a museum of modern art near the Palais de Justice. It houses artworks associated with Marseille as well as several works by Picasso. The Musée Grobet Labadier, opposite the Palais Longchamp, houses an exceptional collection of European objects d'art and old musical instruments. The 19th century Palais Longchamp, designed by Esperandieu, is located in the Parc Longchamp. Built on a grand scale, this Italianate colonnaded building rises up behind a vast monumental fountain with cascading waterfalls. The Jeu d'eau marks and masks the entry point of the Canal de Provence into Marseille. Its two wings house the Musée des Beaux-Arts de Marseille a fine arts museum, and the Natural History Museum Muséum de Histoire Naturelle de Marseille. The Château Boréi is located in the Parc Boréi, a park off the Bay of Marseille with the Jardin Botanique E.M. Heckel, a botanical garden. The Museum of the Decorative Arts, Fashion and Ceramics opened in the renovated Château in June 2013. The Musée d'Art Contemporain de Marseille a museum of contemporary art, opened in 1994. It is devoted to American and European art from the 1960s to the present day. The Musée du Terroir Marseillais in Château Gombert, devoted to Provençal crafts and traditions. Outside central Marseille The main attractions outside the city centre include the 19th century Basilica of Notre Dame de la Garde, an enormous Romano Byzantine basilica built by architect Esperandieu in the hills to the south of the Old Port. The terrace offers views of Marseille and its surroundings. The Stade Velodrome, the home stadium of the city's main football team, Olympique de Marseille. The Unité de Habitation, an influential and iconic modernist building designed by the Swiss architect Le Corbusier in 1952. On the third floor is the gastronomic restaurant, Le Venter de l'Architect. On the roof is the contemporary gallery Mamo opened in 2013. 
The Docks de Marseille, a 19th century warehouse transformed into offices. The Faro Gardens, a park with views of the Mediterranean and the Old Port. The Corniche, a waterfront road between the Old Port and the Bay of Marseille. The beaches at the Prado, Pointe Rouge, Les Gaudes, Calaisong, and La Profette. The Calanques, a mountainous coastal area, is home to Calanques National Park which became France's 10th National Park in 2012. The islands of the Frioul Archipelago in the Bay of Marseille, accessible by ferry from the Old Port. The prison of Château d'If was one of the settings for the Count of Monte Cristo, the novel by Alexandre Dumas. The neighboring islands of Ratineau and Pomigs are joined by a man-made breakwater. The site of a former garrison and quarantine hospital, these islands are also of interest for their marine wildlife. Topic: Education and Research. A number of the faculties of the three universities that comprise Ex Marseille University are located in Marseille. Université de Provence Ex Marseille I. Université de la Méditerranée Ex Marseille II. Université Paul Cézanne ex Marseille III. In addition, Marseille has four grandes écoles: École Centrale de Marseille, part of Centrale Graduate School; École pour l'informatique et les nouvelles technologies; Institut Polytechnique des Sciences Avancées. Kedge Business School of main French research bodies including the CNRS, INSERM and INRA are all well represented in Marseille. Scientific research is concentrated at several sites across the city, including Lumini, where there are institutes in developmental biology the IBDML, immunology CIML, marine sciences and neurobiology INMED, at the CNRS Joseph Aiguillet campus a world-renowned institute of molecular and environmental microbiology and and at the Timon Hospital site known for work in medical microbiology. Marseille is also home to the headquarters of the IRD, which promotes research into questions affecting developing countries. Transport Topic: International and regional transport. The city is served by an international airport, Marseille-Provence Airport, located in Marinane. The airport is the fifth busiest French airport and known the fourth most important European traffic growth in 2012. An extensive network of motorways connects Marseille to the north and west A7, X and Provence in the north A51, Toulon A50, and the French Riviera A8 to the east. Gare de Marseille Saint Charles is Marseille main railway station. It operates direct regional services to Aix and Provence, Briancon, Toulon, Avignon, Nice, Montpellier, Toulouse, Bordeaux, Nantes, etc. Gare Saint Charles is also one of the main terminal stations for the TGV in the south of France, making Marseille reachable in three hours from Paris, a distance of over 750 kilometers, and just over one and a half hours from Lyon. 
There are also direct TGV lines to Lille, Brussels, Nantes, Geneva, Strasbourg and Frankfurt as well as Eurostar services to London. In addition, the night train Intercités de Nuit from Luxembourg and Strasbourg stops here on its way to Nice, whereas the night train from Paris to Nice serves the Gare de Marseille Blancard. There is a new long-distance bus station adjacent to new modern extension to the Gare Saint-Charles with destinations mostly to other Bouches du Rhône towns, including buses to Aix and Provence, Cassis, La Chotat and Aubaine. The city is also served with 11 other regional train stations in the east and the north of the city. Marseille has a large ferry terminal, the Gare Maritime, with services to Corsica, Sardinia, Algeria and Tunisia. Topic: <laughs> Public transport. Marseille is connected by the Marseille Metro train system operated by the Régie des Transports de Marseille RTM. It consists of two lines, Line 1 blue between Castellane and La Rose opened in 1977 and Line 2 red between St. Marguerite Drommel and Bougainville opened between 1984 and 1987. An extension of the Line 1 from Castellane to La Timon was completed in 1992, another extension from La Timon to La Fourragère 2.5 km 1.6 miles and four new stations was opened in May 2010. The metro system operates on a turnstile system, with tickets purchased at the nearby adjacent automated booths. Both lines of the Metro intersect at Gare St. Charles and Castellane. Three bus rapid transit lines are under construction to better connect the Metro to farther places Castellane to Lumini, Capitaine Guise, La Cabochelle to Vallon des Touves, La Rose to Chateau Gombert, St. Jérôme. An extensive bus network serves the city and suburbs of Marseille, with 104 lines and 633 buses. The three lines of the tramway, opened in 2007, go from the CMACGM tower towards Les Cayoles. As in many other French cities, a bike-sharing service nicknamed Le Velo free for trips of less than half an hour, was introduced by the City Council in 2007. A free ferry service operates between the two opposite keys of the old port. From 2011 ferry shuttle services operate between the old port and Point Rouge. In spring 2013 it will also run to Lestac. There are also ferry services and boat trips available from the old port to Friul, the Calanques and Cassis. Topic: Sport. The city boasts a wide variety of sports facilities and teams. The most popular team is the city's football club, Olympique de Marseille, which was the finalist of the UEFA Champions League in 1991, before winning the competition in 1993. The club also became finalists of the UEFA Europa League in 1999, 2004 and 2018. The club had a history of success under then-owner Bernard Tappy. The club's home, the Stade Velodrome, which can seat around 67,000 people, also functions for other local sports, as well as the national rugby team. 
Stade Velodrome hosted a number of games during the 1998 FIFA World Cup, 2007 Rugby World Cup, and UEFA Euro 2016. The local rugby teams are Marseille 13 and Marseille Vitrolles Rugby. Marseille is famous for its important pétanque activity, it is even renowned as the pétanque capitale. In 2012 Marseille hosted the Pétanque World Championship and the city hosts every year the Mondial La Marseillaise de Pétanque, the main Pétanque competition. Sailing is a major sport in Marseille. The wind conditions allow regattas in the warm waters of the Mediterranean. Throughout most seasons of the year it can be windy while the sea remains smooth enough to allow sailing. Marseille has been the host of eight 2010 Match Race France events which are part of the World Match Racing Tour. The event draws the world's best sailing teams to Marseille. The identical supplied boats, J boats J80 racing yachts are raced two at a time in an on-the-water dogfight which tests the sailors and skippers to the limits of their physical abilities. Points accrued count towards the World Match Racing Tour and a place in the final event, with the overall winner taking the title ISAF World Match Racing Tour Champion. Match racing is an ideal sport for spectators in Marseille, as racing in close proximity to the shore provides excellent views. The city was also considered as a possible venue for 2007 America's Cup. Marseille is also a place for other water sports such as windsurfing and powerboating. Marseille has three golf courses. The city has dozens of gyms and several public swimming pools. Running is also popular in many of Marseille parks such as Le Faro and Le Jardin Pierre Puget. An annual foot race is held between the city and neighboring Cassis, the Marseille Cassis Classique Internationale. Notable people Marseille was the birthplace of Pythias, Florida, 4th century BC, Greek merchant, geographer and explorer Petronius, Florida, 1st century AD, Roman novelist and satirist Pierre de Mors, 1702-1795, physician. Jean Henri Gorgo, aka Dugazin, 1746-1809, actor. Jean Baptiste Benoit Eries, 1767-1846, geographer, author, and translator. Desiree Clary, 1777-1860, wife of King Carl XIV Johan of Sweden, and therefore Queen Desiree or Queen Desideria of Sweden. Sabin Berthelot, 1794-1880, naturalist and ethnologist. Adolphe Thiers, 1797-1877, first president of the Third Republic. Etienne Joseph Louis Garnier Pages, 1801-1841, politician. Honoré Damier, 1808-1879, caricaturist and painter. Joseph Autron, 1813 to 1877, poet. Charles Joseph Eugene de Mazenod, 1782 to 1861, bishop of Marseille and founder of the missionary Oblates of Mary Immaculate. Lucien Petipa, 1815 to 1898, ballet dancer. 
Joseph Mascarell 1899 mayor of Los Angeles Marius Petipa 1818 to 1910 ballet dancer and choreographer Ernest Rayer 1823 to 1909 opera composer and music critic Olivier Emile Olivier 1825 to 1913 statesman Victor Morel 1848 to 1923 operatic baritone Joseph Pujol aka Le Paytumain 1857 to 1945 entertainer Charles Fabry 1867 to 1945 physicist Edmund Rostand 1868 to 1918 poet and dramatist Pavlos Milos 1870 to 1904 Greek army officer Louis Natero 1870 to 1915 painter Vincent Scotto 1876 to 1952 guitarist songwriter Charles Camoin 1879 to 1965 fauvist painter Henri Fabre 1882 to 1984 aviator and inventor of the first seaplane Frederick Mariotti 1883 to 1971 actor Darius Milhad 1892 to 1974 composer and teacher Bertie Albrecht 1893 to 1943 French resistance Croix de guerre Antonin Artaud 1897 to 1948 author Henri Tomasi 1901 to 1971 composer and conductor Zeno Francescati 1902 to 1991 violinist Fernandel 1903 to 1971 actor Marie Madeleine Fourcade, 1909 to 1989, French Resistance, commander of the Légion d'Honneur. Eliane Brown Bartroli, Eliane Plumen, 1917 to 1944, French Resistance, Croix de Guerre. César Baldacini, 1921 to 1998, sculptor. Louis Jordan 1921 to 2015 actor Jean-Pierre Rampal 1922 to 2000 flautist Alice Colonu 1924 to 2010 ceramist Paul Mariat 1925 to 2006 orchestra leader composer Maurice Béjart 1927 to 2007 ballet choreographer Régine Crespin 1927 to 2007 opera singer Jeanette Garson 1928 to 2010 actor André Di Fusco 1932 to 2001 known as André Pascal songwriter composer Henry de Lumley born 1934 archaeologist Sasha Cisneau 1937 to 2013 sculptor Jean-Pierre Ricard, born 1944, Cardinal, Archbishop of Bordeaux. Georges Chappé, born 1944, cyclist. Jean-Claude Izzo, 1945 to 2000, author. Denis Rinquet, born 1952, businessman. Ariane Askaride, born 1954, actress. 
Miriam Fox Jerusalem, born 1961, world champion slalom canoeer. Eric Cantona, born 1966, Manchester United and French national team football player. Patrick Fiore, born 1969, singer. Mark Panther, born 1970, member of the popular Japanese rock band Globe. Zinedine Zidane, born 1972, professional football player and former captain of the France national football team. Romain Barnier, born 1976, freestyle swimmer. Sébastien Grisjean, born 1978, tennis player. Philippe Etcheroux, born 1983, photographer. Mathieu Flamini, born 1984, football player. Remy Di Gregorio, born 1985, cyclist. Jessica Fox, born 1994, French-born Australian slalom canoeer. The following personalities died in Marseille. Blessed Antoine Frederic Ozanam, on 8 September 1853. French poet Arthur Rimbaud, on 10 November 1891. Bryce Muehlman, second Catholic Archbishop of Calcutta, on 15 July 1924. King Alexander I of Yugoslavia was assassinated on 9 October 1934 in Marseille along with French Foreign Minister Louis Barthou. <laughs> International relations Sister cities Marseille is currently officially twinned with 13 cities. Topic: Partner cities. In addition, Marseille has signed various types of formal agreements of cooperation with 27 cities all over the world. Topic. See also List of films set in Marseille Marcel Pagnol Marseille Marine Fire Battalion Marseille Soap <laughs> Notes <laughs>